it's Rosie, welcome back. Today I'm at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort and I'm going to be showing you how we're staying safe at Disney. So normally I would be going into theme parks, but we don't think that's super safe right now. We don't want to take that risk. We're going to show you all the fun activities that we're doing instead. I still remember your number Can see those digits by heart with that first drink of the summer I think about where you are I dial 235, are you alive? How I miss our late night drives in four, six hours it In my mind I flip a switch and seven two forgetting you It's something I can't seem to do Even though we were just I close my eyes I'm waiting for the lightning strike To knock me back to 2005 Before you took that cross-country flight Before we said goodbye staying in one of the buildings with exterior corridors so that we don't have any shared airspace with any other rooms. I can still see the address. We left Disney yesterday and I didn't get a chance to film any segments of me talking there so I just want to go over what we did and show you all the pictures and video that I took of stuff that we were doing. The night that I filmed the last clip, we tried to go to an outdoor movie, but it turned out that it was too cold, so they moved it indoors, and we didn't feel comfortable doing that, so we ended up just walking around the resort again, but at night. The next morning, we got waffles at the Art of Animation. Um, we had to go in and talk to the chef, so it was a really, really long process, but the waffles ended up being pretty good. We couldn't order online because of our gluten-free diet, so um, we really had to have a long wait to get them. Next, we walked around at the boardwalk um, around the lake and at the Dolphin and Swan Resorts, and we saw Epcot across the lake, so that was pretty fun, and after that, we headed to Disney Springs for lunch. We ate at the boathouse, and we got mac and cheese and a burger, and it was all super delicious, and then we went to a dedicated gluten-free bakery after. After that, we walked around Wilderness Lodge. Um, we went inside just for a little bit, and then we went out back and just like walked around the paths. We then went to Saratoga Springs, which we hadn't been to in either a really long time or just since they'd renovated, I think. We went through the resort and then we went across the river to the golf course and then we went back over the river um, to see the treehouse villas, which were really interesting. After that, we went back to our room to eat dinner and to rest for a little bit, um, and my mom had a meeting. Then we walked around the Animal Kingdom Lodge and out back, and we got to see some flamingos sleeping, which was cool. The Animal Kingdom Lodge is definitely one of my favorite places to go in Disney, um, outside of the parks. I did end up having a great time, even though we weren't able to go into any of the parks. I definitely um, didn't quite have as much fun as I would have had in the parks, but it was definitely really close, and I'm glad that we were able to be safe but still have the Disney experience. So let me know what you think of our trip. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing what you can do in Disney without actually going to, into the parks during a pandemic. So make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!